And, and while millionaires in New Jersey are waking up to this huge tax hit, there's a chance millions of Americans could wake up to higher taxes on November 4th. More and more investors want to know how to prepare for the presidential election. My next guest just wrote a 17-page report on politics and your portfolio. The CIO of the Bonson Group, David Bonson. Uh, David, um, first let's start with uh, where the, the market is now with respect to anticipation of who may be a winner. Because I think the markets probably would be under more pressure if the conventional wisdom was that Biden was winning this thing. How do you see it? No, I don't necessarily disagree, but I think that the markets can't really price in any kind of presidential outcome with conviction unless they have a feel for the Senate race. The way in which the Senate will play in to the presidential race is going to be very important for markets. So the uncertainty around it can certainly create some volatility. But look, the, uh, Joe Biden took pretty commanding leads in the polls, bigger leads than he has now in June, July, August, and the market went up 3,000 points. I just think the market feels the same way I do, which is it has no idea what's going to happen. It's going to be a very close race. And then as I point out in the paper that you allude to, the Senate is going to have a lot more to do with where the market goes than the presidential race. All right, so then when people are trying to gauge this thing, there's all kinds of things they use. You referenced the betting odds as a gauge. They really seem to work better than polls. It's something that we should start paying attention to. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think people have real money in the game. It's a much different deal than someone just sort of sharing uh, with a phone person or on the Internet who they say they're going to vote for. Look, I'm not one of these people saying all the polls are fake. I don't believe that. Some are good. Some are bad. I look at the averages, but the betting odds have been far more predictive. Ultimately, our electoral college, as you know, Charles, makes things a little complicated because you can have a situation where the polls indicate, as they did with Hillary Clinton, that uh, President Trump was going to lose by two to three points. And he did lose the popular vote by about two points. But the electoral college is what matters. Thank God, because that's the way our system should right. work because of our state's rights. However, I will say this is probably going to be a very close race. And a lot of volatility will come as the market tries to guess which way the wind's going to blow. So let's talk about handicapping portfolios. Now, you, you referenced the Senate. Uh, the, is there really a big difference between uh, the outcome being a united government or a split government and, 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 uh, with respect to the markets? Well, historically, interestingly, split government has been very good for markets. I allude to the three decades that I've been in this, Reagan and o Tip O'Neill and, and uh, Clinton and Newt Gingrich, and then, of course, Barack Obama with John Boehner. All three experienced very good markets. People could debate if they think gridlock is good for the country or not. Ultimately, I think all of us would like to see more things get done, particularly if they're things that we believe in and want getting done. However, from a market standpoint, let's just say Joe Biden is elected and he prevails. I think Joe Biden with a Senate majority leader, Mitch McConnell, is not going to get anything done. And I'll share with you, you're the first person I'm saying this to and all of our listeners. Joe Biden wants the Republicans to win the Senate. He wants an excuse to not have to do all the crazy things that AOC and Bernie want him to do. So I think not only do most people like the idea of a hedge, having Republican leadership to keep these tax increases and Green New Deal and so forth from going through. But I really believe that Joe Biden wants it, too, because at that point he can kind wow. of punt to the fact that he's stuck. I truly believe that, Charles. Wow. All right. Listen, I have fantastic stuff. By the way, congratulations. Uh, you made Barron's top financial list. Uh, you're, you've been doing extraordinarily well, and we appreciate you sharing your wisdom with our viewers because a lot of people are anxious and perhaps they shouldn't be. David, thank you very much, my friend. Thank you, Charles.